Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a sort of LGBTQ educational type video. Today we're talking about asexual, the A in the LB LGBTQIA plus um, letter salad. Asexual is a little bit different than your other sexual orientations where you have heterosexual, bisexual, pansexual, and uh, homosexual. Those are usually pretty straightforward. Homosexual means you like people of the same sex and gender as you. Heterosexual means you like people of the opposite as you. Pan means you don't care. Bi means similar to pan, but not quite. But what is asexual? Um, it's a spectrum, which makes it different than the others. What that means is there's different degrees of asexual. There are asexual people that have zero tolerance for sex. They're, they're offended by it or turned off by it. They don't have sexual attraction. Uh, they don't find other people sexually attractive. They don't have any desire to engage in sexual activity. They're just completely, uh, th they're just no. It's not for them. Period, not for them. You have some asexual people that, um, under the right circumstances, can be talked into some limited sexual activity, but only those that they're comfortable with, and it's not easy getting them comfortable. You have a type of asexual known as demisexual, people who cannot, um, be sexually attracted to somebody unless they have a romantic connection first. Now, you have some people say, this is the way it should be. Those are usually asshole Christians. No, it's not the way it should be. It's the way it should be for you if that's how you are. But if that's not how you are, if you're, if you're, if you're okay with having multiple sexual partners, it's nobody's goddamn business. Leave them alone. Likewise, if you're asexual on the asexual spectrum and you have no desire to have sexual relations or sex, partake in sexual activities with other people or yourself or anyone else. That's nobody's business either. There are some asexual people that can find that that can find other humans attractive, but they don't want to engage in intercourse or sexual activities with them. They might be okay with like holding hands cuddling, hugging, maybe light, consensual petting, but they probably don't want to go all the way. They probably don't want to have kids. <clears throat> There's other degrees. Like I said, it's a spectrum of asexual people. Me and my girlfriend are both asexual. She's a little further along on the spectrum than I am. She... We're both touch-averse, which means we don't want to be touched by other people. Uh, no ha holding hands, no poking, no hugging, none of it. I don't like to be touched at all. Uh, at all. So that's 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 where I am, and she's also the same. Uh, we have a very fulfilling uh, intellectual, personal, romantic relationship, and we're good with that. We don't need the physical stuff. If you've noticed, I watch a lot of horror movies, especially a lot of R-rated teen slasher movies from the 1980s, which means I have seen a lot of naked chicks, mostly. There's occasional naked dudes in them as well. I do not seek out or observe or partake in pornography in any of its forms, a period. Never have, never will. I, I do not see the appeal. Uh... But I can find other people, male or female, trans or cisgender, attractive. Um, so I consider myself bi-romantic because I can have a romantic relationship with um, either gender, uh, male or female. Um, but it gets muddy beyond that. I don't consider myself, what, pan-romantic, I guess, would be the term. 
Uh, because there are some people I can't find myself attractive to or in a romantic relationship with. But I'm not going to get into my personal business here. I can handle small doses of nudity, uh, tasteful or otherwise. I don't care if it's essential to the plot or not. If it's, I, I can handle it. It's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. I'm good either way. I don't seek it out, but I expect it in certain circumstances. I know if I'm watching a slasher movie, there's a high probability it's going to be a part of the movie. And I brace myself. But I don't seek it out. There's a lot of asexual people who are like this. There are a lot of asexual people who will not do anything um, of a sexual nature with a partner, but they'll explore things on their own. Um, and there are asexual people that don't even do that. You know, the bullshit lie that people say everybody does it. You know, the big M word. Everybody does it. There's just people who lie. Not everybody does it. And if you think everybody does it, it's because you do it too much. You might want to talk to somebody. You might have a sex addiction. And yes, you can have a sex addiction. There's a difference between a healthy sex life and being addicted to sex. Um, I'm not going to categorize what is healthy and what isn't. That's between you and your partners. And, you know, society can judge you as, as it deems necessary. I just won't even bother. It's none of my business. I don't care. You can have as much sex as you want. Uh, just be safe. You know, and make sure it's goddamn consensual and legal. Don't go have sex with kids. Um, what else? Um, a lot of people misconstrue asexual as they, they, and I hear this all the time. They tell asexual people, you just haven't found the right partner yet. You don't know what you're missing. We know we're not stupid, we have bodies. We know what our bodies do. We know what other people do. We're not stupid. We're not idiots. It's not for us. It's not for everybody. You always hear people say it's natural. You can find examples of creatures, animals, and otherwise in nature that don't have sex. Even sexual creatures like birds and dogs. That you, you can always find examples of of animals that, 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 ha, that typically have a sex drive, you can find examples of animals that don't. Because it's not natural for everybody. And when there's over 8 billion people on the planet, not everybody has to have goddamn kids. Alright? So stop pressuring us to have kids if we don't want them. And I swear to God, if you come in here with, you're on a list or you shouldn't be around kids anyways, go eat shit, you cocksucking motherfucker. Don't even come at me with that shit. You don't know me. Fuck off. Fucking bigots. I don't tolerate bigots on my channel. Fucking dumbasses. Fucking shit eaters. So, yeah, not everybody is sexual. Alright? So you just need to accept it. Not everybody wants to have your baby. Or get you pregnant. Or do things to you. Or with you. Or with somebody else. Not everybody does. We need to be okay with this. And if you're ace, if you're on the asexual spectrum, you got my support. And I hope that you, you know, find this video helpful. Stay cool.